174, Virginia Tech, and their national champion, Makai Lewis, to take on the redshirt freshman, Luca Augustine of Waynesburg, Pennsylvania. Augustine's 10 and 6 this year. Makai Lewis hasn't quite been up to full strength, battling some knick-knack injuries, but still adding to his win total. 12 and 1, he enters ranked third in the country. When we were talking to Makai, he said that he's worked on his offense and goes right, right through a nice glass double. Making a little tilt action. Yeah, he's looking for it. Really trying to get to his offense early. Roll through. He's got to arch his back just a little more. And he just reverses, goes to the other side. Still holding two. Still holding two. Two and four, three. A couple of slights and two for Makai Lewis. And a quick start out of the gate for Lewis. Virginia Tech trailing by seven. We're neutral. We're neutral. Unrun. Neutral. Talking with Makai, we asked him, how frustrating was it after you won a national championship? It just seemed like nobody ever took a shot at you. And he kind of chuckled. He said, yeah, that's been one of the adjustments. I've had to step on the gas a little bit more aggressively to get to my offense. Kind of like what we saw him do here in the early stages with up. Augustine. Work center, stay center now. And that's going to have to make Augustine open up a little more because Augustine is a grinder, as Coach Gavin said. He'll sit there, stay right in the phone book, booth with you, pull hands, pull arms and shoulders. But when you're down, that means you have to start taking shots. And when you start taking shots on Makai Lewis, you put yourself in danger. Very similar to Cole Matthews. Everybody knows that they are very good at counter center, offense, re-attacks. And when they get a lead, that means their opponent has to attack, and that just makes their offense open up that much more. Two minutes into this first period, Makai Lewis with the takedown and the two near fall, a four to one advantage for the 2019 national champion, Virginia Tech's only national champion in their long history as he had that front head position. Looked like maybe he was looking for a possible oh, yeah. cradle. Instead, he says, I'll take the two and go up 6-1. Makai's looking really sharp. And one of the things Makai had mentioned before, he takes pride in his top game. We talk about his counter offense and reattacks, but he takes pride in keeping opponents down. Green, you're in control. Kai Lewis will have a minute 28 of ride time when this first period ends in a 6-1 lead, able to get some offense from the top position. Cross wrist tilt. He went one way and then went the other way and got two near fall there. And then here it is, this way as he just chases and continues to hustle. This is hustle and was looking for a cradle. Good job by Augustine to belly out. What a run it was in 2019 for Makai Lewis. Beat Marinelli, beat Evan Wick, Vincenzo Joseph to become the Hokies' first national champion. Nearly had a repeat last year. Lost to Carter Scaracci in the tiebreaker in Detroit for his second national championship, 6-5. Talked about his offseason. Really wanted to come in and just relax and enjoy the sport, but really focus on his time away from the map because he felt if he can relax away from the map, that's just going to make him more dangerous. And he wrestles and puts on the Virginia Tech singlet. Taken up a couple of hobbies. He started playing video games. He was having a good time on the conversation with us. He still has a PS3, so we need to get him into the modern era. Uh, but that will come. And he also has a dog, a, a new puppy, Cujo. <laughs> he says Cujo keeps him on his toes. So what do you expect with a name like that? Lewis looking near the edge, trying to keep his right foot inbounds. 
Crowd saying control, two, two, not two, quite three. yet. And now three, they get the two. Go. Gary Wade says two. Great edge of mat wrestling by one of the best, Makai Lewis. Isn't it great how coaches always want to take down before it's there? <laughs> you can see they were working the official Gary Wade say two, two. And the official said no, 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 no. And then he finally awarded, which was the right call. Timeout in the action. It's a blood timeout. And this is Makai Lewis. Sean, looking at these matches, Virginia Tech's, we'll call them more noticeable wrestlers, I'm not going to say stars per se, they are performing. Caleb Henson got a major decision. Bryce Andonian, major decision. Makai Lewis is working hard towards a major decision. And this is what you need. And what does Luke Augustine have to do? Go ahead, Sean. No, I was just going to say you could certainly put Hunter Boland into that category, and we're going to see him next up when you talk about the stars of this Virginia Tech team. They're all performing, and Boland's going to have to as well at 184. You understand the delay causes it, right? Oh, yeah. Get to it. Oh, yeah. What you officials say is that, Makai, you're taking too long to, st to get on top. We're neutral. One red. Neutral. It appears that, that Makai Lewis is just quicker than Luca Augustine. So he should go back to those snaps and then just try and chase. He's just quicker. Down, breathe. Just... Three, you're in control. Breathe. I'll give you three. Doing a good job of controlling the action on the feet and a solid ride on top. Green, you're in control. Green. Commanding lead through two for Makai Lewis, who made it a point to give back this offseason. And he took a trip this past summer where he donated some time. Really just spent a great couple of days in New Jersey, the Center for Great Expectations, which helps people in his home county back in New Jersey, helping people, primarily women and expectant mothers who need long-term treatment for various disorders. He and his parents, Coach Roby, all visited the center in late June. So that was important for him because he remembers when he was younger, his mom Charlotte took in her four cousins when he was very young. And after seeing that, he, he wanted the opportunity to help women out who don't have the same opportunity. And it's a real neat deal with Kai and Coach Roby making the visit back to New Jersey. You know, they were appreciative. And this is how Luca Augustine has to do it. He has to just try to build his way by scoring. He's not supposed to put on the brakes and just say, I'm going to hold it to a major decision instead of a tech fall. He wants to score. Because he may see Makai Lewis again in the, in the ACC championships. Makai is just showing that he has faster feet than Luca Augustine right now. Augustine coming off a real good freestyle year as you see him shoot. There's the counter by Lewis, drops into a leg. Two, but check the down, go three. behind crumbles him down for two. Green, you're in control. Makai is just showing that there's levels to this. Luca Augustine is tough, world team member. But Makai is just so seasoned. Knows exactly what to do. Knows exactly where he is in the match. Let's go, guys. Get center. So even though it appears that the major decision is locked up, this is what you want to see from Augustine. Can you fight just for another point? Can you fight? Can you get some more out of yourself? Come on, no sloppy restarts, guys. Get straight to it. All you green. But stand up We're by neutral. Augustine and he is away. So with riding time locked, a 10 point deficit for Luca Augustine. Half hearted shot there by Lewis, easily stymied by Augustine. Two wrestlers shoulder to shoulder with five seconds to go. And Makai Lewis is going to deliver the third bonus point victory of the night for Virginia Tech.
Winner by major decision, 14 to four. His 103rd career win. Lewis now 13 and one on the season. Akai Lewis giving this crowd inside Castle some hope as they try to rally on Nick.